Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, it's Rosh Muhammad Sali, the editor of Five Pillars, and we're here at the Khatim and Nabi'in Masjid in Kabul, which is the biggest Shia mosque in Kabul, and also the third most important center of Shia learning in the entire Shia world. Now, the reason why I'm here is because obviously in the past the Taliban have been accused of being anti-Shia, targeting Shias, etc, etc. So I really wanted to come here to find out how Shias are feeling. Are they feeling scared with the advent of the Taliban, with attacks from ISIS? What is their feeling about their place in the new Afghanistan? Since the Taliban came to power, several explosions have targeted Shia mosques in Afghanistan. This blast in the city of Kunduz killed at least 50 people and injured countless others. ISIS-K or ISIS Khorasan claimed responsibility for the attack. Yes, we're afraid because in the last few years, ISIS terrorists have specifically targeted Shias in Afghanistan. We're really scared and we demand that the Islamic Emirate does like the previous government did. They cooperated with people, armed them and paid them to secure mosques. But after the Islamic Emirate came, local guards went away and ISIS could do whatever they wanted. Following the attacks, Taliban authorities did tighten security measures at Shia mosques in Kabul and in other areas, with armed soldiers performing security checks, stopping cars driving nearby and stationing themselves outside religious centers. When the Islamic Emirate entered Kabul, they took security measures for the security of our Shia brothers. The current situation is not bad, but some accidents have occurred. Our Mujahideen will be obliged to protect all mosques, and our Shia brothers should not worry about security. Shias are about 20% of the population in Afghanistan, and they live majorly in the central provinces, in Maidan, Wardak, Bamiyan, Daikundi, some people in Ingur, Orozgan, Ghazni, and in the north in Balkh. The Taliban government hasn't formed itself completely, so it's too soon to talk about the Taliban and the Shias. But we as Shias are looking forward to the new Islamic Emirate to solve the problems of Afghans, such as security and, of course, the financial problem. <laughs> As for Daesh, well, we're not really sure where this group has come from. They commit explosions, take responsibility for attacks, but we can't say for sure who they are. I believe that with a strong government, threats to all the citizens of Afghanistan will be controlled. But definitely the Shias are in a desperate situation with these terrible atrocities. And we can't say for sure what our future in Afghanistan is. It comes down to the new government of Afghanistan to bring peace and stability. We hope for unity between Sunnis and Shias. As Shias, we want peace and we want a good financial situation. It's not certain what will happen to our people, but we are all believers and we surrender ourselves to the Almighty and we pray for a good future. The religious sect of a person is not so important. We are all human beings and it benefits us all more to have unity rather than be individuals. We as Shias always say we seek brotherhood, cooperation, understanding amongst all sects in Afghanistan. Our message is peace. At the same time, we call on our brothers to help us to rebuild Afghanistan. So compared to other countries that I've visited around the Muslim world, it doesn't seem to me that the differences and the tensions between Sunnis and Shias in, in, in Afghanistan is as bad as a place like Iraq or Syria or other countries. However, that said, the, the differences here tend to be more political. They tend to be more based on tribe and ethnicity rather than religious sect. That said, I found it quite difficult to get um, Shias to speak to me quite frankly on camera since I've been here. And when they speak, they tend to give pretty diplomatic answers, quite frankly. Uh, and I think that's because they are concerned. They are concerned about their place in the new Afghanistan. And they think back to the 1990s when they feel that the Taliban treated them very harshly. And they ask themselves, have they really changed? Uh, or are they going to pursue sectarian policies? Um, and obviously we have the bombings, the Daesh bombings against Shia mosques, uh, 
which are designed, I guess, to um, basically blow up a Shia, Shia Sunni conflict in this country. That said, when I've spoken to Taliban officials, they say that we're all Afghans. Yes, we have differences of sect, we have differences of philosophy, but we're all Afghans and they will protect minorities. And they've already kind of patrolling outside of Shia mosques around the country to protect them against Daesh attacks. And they have no interest whatsoever in igniting sectarian tensions in Afghanistan.